Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Honorado. This is Wednesday, January 3rd. You're watching 13 Now, where on News Channel 13's YouTube channel, we bring you breaking news, the day's biggest stories, and of course, the first warning forecast. Our meteorologist, Christina Talamo, will join us here shortly as she is tracking a possible snowstorm headed our way this weekend, Saturday into Sunday. Details on that coming up. But first, the case against this man accused of stabbing someone with a screwdriver on Christmas morning continues in court today. It's Trayvon Jackson. He's the owner of the Troubled South End Grocery Store in Albany. Charged with first-degree burglary, larceny, and criminal possession of a weapon, Jackson is accused of entering a person's home on Bassett Street and stabbing them with a screwdriver while stealing several electronics. Police say the victim suffered minor injuries after being stabbed in the back of the head and in the ear with a screwdriver. New this morning, we're learning more about a deadly crash in Berkshire County. As police say, the driver told them he was looking up directions on his phone when he hit the other car. This was first reported by our media partners at the Berkshire Eagle. As police say, Alexander Knight failed to stop at a stop sign when the crash happened in September. The driver in the other car died 10 days later at the hospital. First, Knight told police he couldn't see the stop sign because it was blocked by two utility poles. Now they say he admits he was looking on his phone for directions to a dog park. Also new this morning, Berkshire Health Systems has resumed a mandatory mask mandate for all people inside hospitals. Again, this is according to our media partners at the Berkshire Eagle. Starting this morning at 8 o'clock, so just about an hour ago, all staff, visitors, and patients need to wear a mask inside the hospitals listed here on the screen. That's Berkshire Medical Center, Fairview Hospital, and other medical campuses across Berkshire County. Officials are also prohibiting anyone under the age of 18 from visiting hospitals for health reasons. All right, let's get to our meteorologist now, Christina Talamo. A lot of people are already asking about how much snow are we going to get Saturday into Sunday. This is a first warning alert day now with our first warning meteorology team. Christina, good morning. Uh, before we get to that, and I know you will touch yeah. on that storm that's headed our way, certainly that people want to know about. Uh, it's cold out there, but it's at least dry for the most part until we get to the weekend, right? Yeah, that's for sure, Quit, uh, Chris. We do have a quiet next couple of days and then some changes on the way yeah. by Sunday. But everybody's been wanting the snow. I've been getting a lot of messages. <laughs> Where's the snow? I mean, it's pretty wild. We haven't really had any big storms yet so far. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of snow for you guys on Sunday, for those of you that do want the snow there. And I'll get into that forecast, what we know so far coming up in just a couple minutes. But for now, we'll start off with that Wednesday forecast. It's cloudy, it's dry, 36 degrees in Schenectady with a look at that CDPHP first morning weather cam. Overall, fairly quiet today, just looking at those clouds streaming through. A few flurries off to our north and west. We could see a few flurries pass by today, mainly in the hill towns, but outside of that, no real wet weather to talk about today. Temperatures are in the lower to mid 30s, 33 Rensselaer, 34 Saratoga Springs, 31 Steventown, 35 Great Barrington, 31 in Hunter, right at freezing in Claverick. And high temperatures today will top out close to 40 degrees. So above average compared to where we should be this time of the year. Hour by hour forecast as we head throughout the day. Again, mostly cloudy skies expect expected for most of it. This is through lunchtime. You'll notice we stay dry with maybe a few flurries around. That's really about it. No concerns for the evening commute. As we head throughout the overnight and by tomorrow morning, we'll start off with clouds again on Thursday. But notice as a cold front starts to move in from the northwest, we'll start to see some passing spotty snow showers from time to time. Accumulation wise, really not expecting much. Maybe a spotty coating here and there. The better chance will be in the hill towns, the mountains. Otherwise, after a passing snow shower through Thursday morning. We'll actually dry out and clear out into the afternoon. It will become quite breezy. We could even see some sunshine before the day is over with that front moving through. Then after Thursday, we switch gears looking towards Saturday into Sunday. Here's a look at that hour by hour forecast. It's just one particular model. So again, this is likely to change. But notice it's going to be dry during the daytime on Saturday. Clouds increase throughout the day. 
But by Saturday night, late Saturday night into Sunday, as it looks right now, we'll start to see widespread snow across the area. Now, notice that low pressure system passing by to our south and east. The exact position of that low, just how close it is to the coast or how much further it is away from the coast off to our east, that will ultimately determine the exact track there, the intensity of that snowfall and how much we get when it comes to those numbers. So as of right now, we just know looking like snow likely through the day on Sunday. If that low is a little bit closer to the coast, we'll likely see some heavier snow. If it's a little bit further away, we'll likely see some lighter snow. Could even see no snow at all for the North Country if it's further uh, far enough off to our south and east. So a lot that needs to come into play over the next couple of days. We'll keep you posted um, when we get more information. But for now, we are expecting some widespread snow during the day on Sunday. Good news is it does look like it will um, move out of here pretty quickly. So by Monday, not expecting, as it looks right now, any problems with the morning commute. Today, highs in the upper 30s, just a few flurries, otherwise mostly cloudy. Tonight, we're dropping down into the 20s, mostly cloudy, seasonably cold. Taking a look at the next several days there, your seven-day planner. A few passing snow showers on Thursday. Then it's breezy, colder, but dry and sunny on Friday, lower 30s. Saturday night into Sunday, next chance for some snow. We have an alert day in effect for Sunday because of that snow. Anyone traveling um, or if you have anything going on, just keep that in mind. Early call. And then Monday will dry out before we track our next weather system for Tuesday into Wednesday of uh, next week. So, Yep, we will have a storm system heading our way for Sunday, but we can't give you those snow numbers just yet. But stay with us. We'll have more over the next few days. Yeah, okay. And Christina, here's what we love about 13 now is we can share comments. Ooh. Not that you don't get enough questions as it is. This is not a question. Our friend and former colleague, Chris. who used the Schenectady Weather Cam, he heard the whistle as the train went by. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, but if you do in the future have questions for Christina, we might take some on the air here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Comment, comment along. All right, Christina, thank you. I know she'll be busy over the next few days, certainly trying to pin down exactly what is going to happen over the weekend with uh, that snow that's in the forecast. Uh, the latest, of course, with the first warning forecast with us uh, on News Channel 13 live at noon. Hope you'll join us then. Thanks for watching 13 Now. I'm Chris Honorado. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.